Go. Go on. He goes alone once a week to Machpella. Isn't it better not to interrupt his prey? He doesn't do anything else when he's praying. He is on his own now in Machpella. Today is our best chance to talk to him alone, without anyone's interference. Go. Let's see what you can do. Worshipping God in private. Father, will you pray for us too? I am always praying for you, my sons. What are you doing here? You know that I do not do anything else today. We want to ask permission to take Joseph to the plains. Why is that? Why do you want to take Joseph to the plains? There is no particular reason. We just wanted to take Joseph to the plains so that he can play and we can teach him the ways of shepherding. Now is Joseph's childhood and playing time. When he grows up more, then he can go to the plains with you. We promise to take good care of him. Yes, Father, we promise. It's too soon. Later, later. I should have known you were incapable of doing such a simple task. If you were so capable, why didn't you do it? <clears throat> we are the sons of a prophet. I knew killing Joseph was the only option, and Levi's suggestion was useless. Father will never be separated from Joseph. You obviously can't kill Joseph in front of Father, can you? First, we must separate Joseph from Father. And then, think of a plan. I think I have an idea. There's only one person who can convince Father to let Joseph come with us, and that person is Joseph himself. We will tempt Joseph by talking of the joys of playing on the plains, and if he wants to come with us brothers, then Father will surely not object. Yes, that's good. We'll try. stay home all the time and play with Benjamin and Dina? Well, yes, I love playing with Benjamin and Dina. Of course, I love playing with Benjamin and Dina as well. But it's much more fun playing in the mountains and in the plains. Why don't you move the herd? We're waiting for our brothers. Aren't you going to the pasture today? We were just about to leave, but we want permission to take Joseph along as well. 
Why don't you let Joseph come and play with us? He can help us and play a little bit as well. The plains are so beautiful and full of plants. Have you ever eaten raspberries? No. How does it taste? Beautiful. They're so tasty. I love them. Have you ever seen sprouting springs and flowing streams? As Joseph lacks a mother, I have promised to take care of him upon his mother's request. Besides, parents must look after their little children more than their grown ones. People taunt us with asking, does your father not trust you to take Joseph with you to the plains? Why don't you let them take him today, just to stop the people talking? Because he's a child, and I'm used to having him here. Although going to the plains and working would be constructive, it's still too soon for him to run after the herd. Father, we were younger than Joseph when we went to the plains. You didn't go alone. I'll take Joseph to the plains gradually and teach him. I agree he must learn, but it's too soon for him yet. We can teach him how to work with the sheep. And because we're his brothers, we would be kind. I would like nothing more than for Joseph to grow up and gain experience. But he's only a child, and he is attached to me and being in this house. As soon as you left, he'd be asking to return, because he missed me. We would keep him playing and busy so that he wouldn't even miss the house. He would have so much fun playing in the stream. All brothers should play together and wrestle and swim and have fun together. And we would eat, we would have hot milk and roasted meat. I don't think Father trusts us. It's not you I don't trust. It's the wolves on the plains. I fear you may become distracted by the herd and perhaps not even notice the wolves. I saw wolves chasing a child in my dream. That's a lame excuse, Father. You watched us kill that other wolf. We're ten strong young men capable of killing a wolf. Do you think us so weak we can't protect our brother? Even against a single wolf? Please, father, will you send me to the plains with my brothers? You are still too young, my son. Play with children your own age. But I am growing up, and I would like to play with my elder brothers. Please allow me to go with them. Look, Father. Joseph wants to come with us. Yes, Father. Please let Joseph come with us. Please, Father. Allow me to go to the plains with my brothers. Father, please. Very well, then. <laughs> Thank you, Father. We appreciate it. All right, Joseph. We better leave. Let's go. Wait. I must get Joseph ready. No problem. Come on, my son. Look after Joseph. He is not used to the hardships you are. Don't worry, Mother. We won't let him suffer any hardships. <laughs> Don't go far from your brothers, and look after yourself, my son. Put on this cape. It's too big for me. Put it on, and you'll find it fits. This cape will fit whoever deserves to wear it. Let's try it on. Father, it 
fits me. This cape came from paradise, from my grandfather. And Prophet Abraham gave it to my father, Isaac. Isaac gave it to me, and now I give it to you. Take good care of this cape, and don't be separated from it. It will keep you safe everywhere. I shan't show it to anybody. May God keep you safe against all heavenly and earthly dangers. Stay with your brothers everywhere and do as they tell you. Let's go, son. Here comes Joseph. Let's go. Let's go. I'll see you to the edge of town. No problem. Let's go. Don't worry, father. We'll have a good day with Joseph. Others will look after you. Tell them if you need anything. They'll help you. Take care, my son. I've put in food and water for Joseph. Don't let him go hungry. Don't worry. <laughs> Levi. Joseph is in your care. Let nothing bad happen to him. I'll do my best. But if you're so worried, you shouldn't let him come. I understand. Take him. But do look after him. On behalf of my brothers and myself, I assure you, we'll return Joseph happy and laughing to you at sunset. Let's go, Joseph. Let's go. Joseph! Move the herd! Let's go, Joseph. We'll look after Joseph.
doing, Judah? You hurt my knee. What kind of game is this? isn't here, so scream all you like! You've known nothing but kindness till today, haven't you? Our father's kindness and attention was only yours! What wrong have I done to deserve your punishment, Judah? Get up! You want to be our superior? That dream you'll take to your grave because you're going to die! Where's the father you took from us? Call him and tell him to come and help you! We're all children of Israel! You're not the only one! Where's the father whose lap was your haven? Where is he now? Go on, tell us about your sweet dreams. Why don't you ask the stars in your dream to help you then, huh? happened all of a sudden. What is this? I've never seen such a storm. We'd better go inside. Hurry! Did you hear? Sounds like someone is shouting father on the wind. I don't hear anything. It is strange, very strange.
What's the matter? Your pretty shoes were torn? <laughs> <laughs> your clean clothes got dirty? What a pity! Your combed hair is all ruffled? You still want to be our superior? Rachel's orphan! Why don't you have a look now and see who's prostrating before you? Who's prostrating now? You or us? Father! Where's Joseph? He went to the plains with your brothers. Why did you let him go? Joseph a few times. Why did you allow it? Please, don't worry. Joseph wanted to go and play with his brothers on the plane. But father, don't you love him? Of course I love him. But your brothers insisted. To earn their trust, I had no choice but to agree. I'm worried to death. I can't help it. I had a terrible nightmare. Joseph was in a dark place and he was crying. I trust my children. They will bring back Joseph safely. I fear that they will not. Who's fallen on the ground? You or us? Ask the sun and the moon and the stars to help you. Let go of me, Levi. I'm sending him to his dead mother, Rachel. That wasn't our agreement. We agreed something else. That was your agreement, not mine. I won't let you kill Joseph. You've gone mad! Let go of him, Levi. Let him finish and be done with it. Then you must kill me first, because if I live, I'll tell Father everything. <sighs> Leave Joseph alone, or I'll kill you myself. Stop fighting, Judah! You'll regret this one day. I know that God will not forgive us. I apologize, Joseph. Please forgive Levi, my God. I never imagined that they'd actually do this to you. The prophets and their children must brace themselves for the hardships of the world. I never imagined, though, that my first hardship would be inflicted on me by my own brothers. Why are you smiling? An hour ago, when you took me away from father, each of you kissed me and caressed me. Judah sat me on the donkey. I thought to myself that one who has such brothers need not fear any foes, nor fear any dangers. And now I realize that the foes are my brothers. Woe on he who relies on something other than God. Levi, what do you want to do with him? It's obvious. We'll return him to Father. That's not going to happen. He isn't going back to Father, even if... We have to kill both of you. Come up with another idea. What should I do? They'll kill me and you. 
First, we have to prevent them from murdering you. Then we'll trust in God. All right. Give him to a passing caravan. They'll take him far away. We can't just give him to any old passing traveler. They'll suspect us. Why don't we just leave him on a caravan route, then? Near a tree or something? We'd be better to leave him in a well. They'll be sure to find him when they pull up the water. Wait, I've got it. I know of a well near here. The commercial caravan to Hedjaz passes right by it. And if we put him in there, someone will find him. Hey? Eh? Right. Let's go. <laughs> Gad, Neftali, move the herd. Sunset is a long way off. A few days ago, Judah wanted to punish Joseph. Levi wouldn't let him. Why? Had Joseph done something wrong? No, Father. He just didn't want to tell Judah about his dream. I asked him not to tell anybody about it. was around here. Why are we still walking? Do you want Joseph to tell them what happened as soon as they pull him out? They bring him straight back to father. The farther the well, the more impossible to return. We're here. There it is. Over by that tree. I know that well. The water in it is salty. Even better. No caravan ever stops by that well. Shh, quiet. Why do you think I came to this well? This is the same as killing Joseph. Very deep. No problem. Gad, Asher, bring the ropes for the herd and bring the fodder. We can make a long rope. takes water from it unless by force or mistake. Joseph will die of thirst in this well. Quiet. I know that. I didn't come here without a reason. That's the well. Whether he survives it or not isn't important. Come. Leave him alone. I'll be the one to do it. Forgive me. I can't stop it. What have I done? Why are you being cruel to me? You've done nothing. We can't bear your superiority. We envy the place God has given you. I fear the well. It's dark. Do not fear. God is with you. He will protect you. 
Cobb. Judah! Judah! Uh, I fear Wells. Listen, brother. Don't you just want me to be separated from father? I promise, if you let me go, I'll go far away where father won't be able to find me. I promise. I don't believe you. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Wait! Wait a minute! Now what is it? What are we gonna tell father when he asks about Joseph? That a wolf killed him. Yes! Father was worried Joseph might be killed by a wolf. Yes, father knows that there are many wolves in Canaan. Ah, I think we'll need some proof. Such as? For example, Joseph's shirt torn by the wolves. Is that proof enough? <laughs> Let go, please! Let go, let go, please! Let go! Uh, 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 please! Uh, no! Uh, 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 no! Please! Wait! Please! I want to tell Levi something! Levi! Hold on, I want to hear what he has to say. Stop wasting time. Go down. You'll put him in the well in the end anyway. What difference does a few moments make? Let me hear what he has to say. What is it, brother? I want to talk to you privately. Didn't you hear him? I love you, and I believe in your goodness. Although my brothers mistreat me, I love them also. I don't want them to be hurt because of me. Don't let Father find out what you did to me, or his curse will destroy you all. Don't tell anyone, or they will tell Father. This event shall not be hidden from God. You shall not escape the wrath of God. Repent. Repent so that God will not punish you for tormenting a weak child. May God forgive us. Father said I'd become a prophet of God. You knew this, but still you hurt me so much. I'm worried about what you, the children of Israel and your children, will do to the prophets after me. Woe on us, cruel people. Woe on us, unfaithful people. What we, the children of Israel, do to our brother is not even done by the wild beasts. We're reviving the shame of fratricide committed by Cain. What's the matter? Why are you hesitating? Come on. Help! No! No! Help! Levi! No! Levi! I'm scared! Help me, God! Nobody can help me but you! Levi! Father! Levi! Father! Help! Levi! I'm scared! Fetch some rope. Joseph fell down. Levi! Joseph! Joseph! Help! Joseph! 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 
His voice isn't heard anymore. What's the matter? Isn't this what you wanted? Only you wanted this. It wasn't our agreement. You've been plotting his murder from the beginning. Uh, and you'll pay for it. You're worse even than Cain. Cain killed a brother his own age. But you killed a child. God curse on you. First, we're all going to be cursed. If there's going to be one. You were in it as well. Stop playing the self-sacrificing brother. will be known 
When the last prophet appears, and the secret to existence is in those two numbers, seek refuge in them, and you will have peace and salvation. Peace and salvation. Is subsided. How long are you going to stay here? Let's go. Happy. He's alive. Come on. Didn't you hear? Let's go. We thought you drowned. Why didn't you answer? I don't know how I survived, but I did. Bring me back out. I'm frightened. It's dark here. Joseph, I can't. Your evil, cruel, and unkind brothers won't let me. You will have to bear it. Trust on God. It's late. We have to go, but I will return and bring you food and water. Don't worry. Don't drink the salty water. We will bring you fresh water. You wanted to kill him since the beginning, and you knew the well was salty and that he died. I did know, but... Judah didn't let me say anything. It's time to leave. It's a long way home. It is insulting. The children of Israel have left. I have to go as well. I'll return tomorrow. You'll just have to bear it tonight. 